Dr. Marita Bhamji, Chairperson, other members of the panel discussion, Dr. Mohan Rao, Professor BNRD, Professor Sita, and colleagues from Usman University and other educational institutions and their student friends. At the outset, I congratulate uh, the organizers, Professor BNRD and Professor Mohan Rao, for organizing this uh, a thought provoking, much needed two day seminar on this uh, very important topic. Now, before me, two eminent speakers, they spoke about various aspects. Here, I like to share my experience well, uh, the NCRT, it conducts national talent service examination for scholarships to the school children of 8th class standard. And those school children who pass this examination, they will be appearing for an interview. In that interview, the students who get maximum marks, they will be given the scholarship. For the past six or seven years, I was a member of this interview board to select uh, the students for this National Talent Service uh, scholarships. The students were very brilliant. They were facing interviews very well. They were answering the questions very diligently. But uh, being a scientific person, out of my own curiosity, I used to ask, what field you are going to choose? Nearly 70% of the students they expressed that they want to become engineers. 25% wanted to become doctors. Only the remaining 5% wanted to become something else. But all the students were good in science topics. Then when I asked them, what is the reason why you don't want to go to the scientific field? They said that the science topics are boring, cumbersome, time-consuming, they are very difficult to memorize, and then job opportunities are very, very less. So this is the psychology of the a student of eighth standard. If this is the psychology of the students, how we can expect that they will be coming to the scientific stream? So instead of planning something at the higher level of learning, at the college level, or at the postgraduate level. If we can plan in such a manner that the students at the school level, if they are properly guided, if they are told the significance and importance of the science at the school level, itself, then they can come into the scientific uh, stream. One more, my own experience, which I would like to share with you. As a school student, I studied till my 12th class in a government school. 
as a student of 8th standard, we were taught how to prepare the soap. Use caustic soda, mix the oil, boil it and you can prepare the soap. And then I wanted to experiment this. Uh, so I stole some sodium hydroxide. Sorry. Yes. I stole it, I have put it in my pocket and when I came to my house, all of my uh, necker was uh, burned down. <laughs> no, why I am saying this is, even in those days, way back in 1962 or 63 I am speaking, in those days they, they, they have shown us small, small experiments, small, small practicals which has what you call inspired us, excited our minds to show interest towards this science. And when I entered into the ninth class, we used to have a crafts class wherein we were taught how to prepare the scientific models, models of the flower, models of the heart. I prepared, I prepared a scientific model using this plaster of Paris. That was the dorsal side of the uh, frog's herb. And uh, we have exhibited in the science exhibition. And we were taught to collect the common plants, identify them by their common names. We were shown the different parts of the plant or the flower. And we were taught all these things. And you know, my father, he is from arts. But I still remember when I was a school student, he used to say that, you should learn science. If you learn science, I will send it to you, Calcutta, where Jagdish Chandra Bose has done his research. I do not know where from this kind of thinking has come to him. He is non scientific person. He came from a village. Though he is educated, he came from a village level. So the onus is on the school teachers, on the parents. All the time we will be thinking about job opportunities only. We are glorifying only one or two fields and we are showing that to our children. We want our children to be engineers or doctors, that's all, nothing else. Then, then where from we can get the students to the scientific fold? We do not know how much Demand is there for scientific manpower. In India, there is only 10 people out of 1000 persons who are of scientific manpower. When you make a comparison with Japan, it is 110. And when you make a comparison with Canada, it is 180. And recently it has come in the paper, India needs lots of doctors. In India, there is one doctor for 2,000 persons. So likewise, there is a large demand for scientific persons. We are not properly explaining to our children the importance and significance of science. So it all should be at the school level. The teachers who are well trained, they should equally show the significance of the science and also other subjects. Small, small experiments, small, small practicals, if they are shown to the students, they will, it will ignite in them the scientific temperament. Now, some of the Changes, I think that uh, there should be some drastic changes at uh, teaching in the school level. <coughs> Teachers should be given proper training to conduct uh, practicals, etc. They should be given proper orientation in conducting practical classes. 